Well, I'm joined by Martin Malone here in the studio, who's about to take part in a competition in the UK. It's a fitness competition, a fitness model, I think, is you're doing rather than just pure bodybuilding. That, that's correct, yeah. But the reason I wanted to talk to you, because you, you're, you're coming from it from quite a different angle, and do tell us about it. It's a dietary difference, right? Yeah, correct. So uh, last October, um, I decided I would see if it was possible to prepare for this show on a plant-based diet, so vegan plant-based um, um, diet, so getting all my protein uh, and nutrition from plant-based sources. And, and it, was, it was really an experiment, uh, working quite closely with Johnny Fabrizio, who's, um, who's always worked quite closely with me in terms of my prep um, and fitness prep in particular for this show, um, to see if we could do it, to see was it possible to maintain enough muscle mass to get me to the show in good enough condition to compete with everybody else on the stage. Because most of these guys will be t eating a lot of meat, right? I mean, chicken and all that sort of thing, that seems to be part of the usual process. Yeah, it, 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 it's obviously a staple part of, a, of any f fitness athlete's diet. And, and, and I suppose for me, I'm not saying here, everybody should turn vegan and stop eating meat. I think meat has its place and it's good, but do you need to eat it every day? And, and, and I've proven to myself and, and uh, to quite a few other people that actually I can and have been able to prepare quite well for this show. On, on a plant-based diet, so getting all my protein from plant sources. Um, I needed to do some research, I needed to understand from a nutritional point of view what I needed to eat to get the full range of amino acids, which is, is basically the building blocks of protein. Um, and once I'd done that, I actually found the process quite easy. Um, and it's been a real eye-opener for me, and from a health perspective, I, I feel fantastic. Um, I, I had some blood tests done, all my bloods have improved, um, my sleeping, has improved everything really generally I, fe I feel quite well it's coming big these days I mean I just go into one of the supermarkets and their shelving gets bigger and bigger for you know they quit plant now isn't it or vegan whatever you want to call it, it. it's yeah it's it's the in thing isn't it everybody's talking about plant-based diets and, and, and veganism is it supplements required though I mean this is what you want to hear about you're lacking in I don't know is it iron or something you well doing? yeah typically without meat vitamin b12 is an obvious one and iron but when, when I had my bloods done they were completely normal in fact they were on, on the high side of normal meaning that I was getting getting sufficient amount in my diet because I did my homework and I was eating the right foods. You know, for example, green leafy vegetables are very high in iron. You can get vitamin B from other sources, you don't have to eat red meat. Um, you know, but I suppose what I've taught myself is, uh, when this is all over, I don't need to eat meat every day. I might eat it. Oh, you might relent a little bit? Yeah, I, I do. I, I enjoy a nice steak like anybody else, a nice piece of salmon. Will I be completely plant-based from now on? Maybe not. Um, maybe I'll have meat less often, but I've certainly proven to myself that I, ha I can make different choices. We've been looking at these pictures of you in the gym. I mean, is it called shredded or whatever? When you really, really lost Yeah, redu reducing your body fat. There's not much yeah. left body fat, is there, yeah. on you? And that's been, you know, the preparation this time, I have found it to be much easier. I got in far better condition on a plant-based diet. Um, you know, for me, I, I had my cholesterol checked. My cholesterol has gone right down. Ah. You know, it's interesting that, you know, uh, all I've done is really cut out uh, dairy and meat. Everything else has stayed the same. And I've added in some additional plant-based um, proteins. But all my, my health markers have improved. Um, Would you recommend it for people then? Uh, you know, it's very individual and it's not easy. Uh, you need to do your homework. You need to speak to your doctor. But what it has shown me is I could reduce the amount of meat and dairy in my diet, which is obviously going to have some form of health benefit to me anyway. Um, within my family, but we've got genetically high cholesterol, so it actually worked for me. Um, but giving up meat is a big decision. It's a very big decision. Or giving up dairy is a big decision. It's not something sure. to be taken lightly. And yeah. doing this competition has it been harder this way? Because you've done it before, haven't you? This sort of thing. Um, so you've gone through the process. We've had pictures of you in the past. Yeah, yeah. I've getting done ready for these things. I've done exactly the same competition, and I have to say, I found it easier. I have found it easier on a plant-based diet. Once I got used to. Um, understanding where I got my protein from and mixing the proteins, which is an important thing to get the right range of amino acids, uh, which a lot of people don't do. And you, you mix two or three plant-based proteins together and you get the same amino acid profile, for example, as a piece of beef or a piece of chicken. Um, I, I'm all up for eating meat and I, I grew up on a farm. I support farming, but it's the mass production of meat and, and the poor quality of some of the foods that are now available is the thing that concerns me. I'm all up for eating meat, but Make good choices. Eat quality meat. Okay. Well, it's fascinating. Yeah. Talk to you. Um, good luck on the, the competition. You, you hope, obviously, for placing. I mean, that's we what all, it's about. We always hope to do well. You've we'll, put like yeah. months and months into I'm, this. I'm, I'm 46 now, so give me a chance. We'll, 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 we'll see what happens next. But but it's been a fantastic and, and really interesting process and a great experiment and something I've really enjoyed. And, and working alongside Johnny Fabrizio and, and George Wilder Carrefour as well, 
we've had a great time doing this. It's, it's been fantastic. Yeah.